Hi, boys and girls. Uh, today we're going to continue on our Google SG project, and, uh, but we could work on coloring later with textures and color. All right, I also want to build a back deck. So I'm going to quickly uh, use my rectangle tool, draw out something that looks like it's about midway, so it's, again, uh, in between floors. Pop that out. I'm going to flip this over, and up oh, we can see my chimney hiding in there. Hopefully Santa's not stuck in there or anything. And I'm going to use this line tool to establish one, and again it's red, um, parallel line, and just bring this down. Okay. Well, and I'm going to hover over here so it comes down the same amount, and that way I know that it's um, flush with the ground. Okay. So now that the deck, the thing that's supporting the deck is rather obnoxious, so I'm going to just use my rectangle tool, and I'm going to eyeball this, which means I'm not measuring. And I'm going to push it through by hovering over there, and sometimes it doesn't go all the way through. Um, the reason for that is that if I were to go underneath it, you'd see that these are not lined up. So in this case, I'm just going to select it with the selection tool, press the delete button, and do the same thing with the line over here. And I could also have used my eraser tool on that line. All right, so now it's a beautiful deck, but no one can get on it. it needs a door. Make a quick glass door right over here, high enough for people to get through. Find my midpoints to. Uh, make it a double door. And the next most important thing is that people are going to walk onto this deck, fall off, and sue me because there's nothing holding um, them from doing that. So I'm going to use my offset tool. And I could do this, but the problem with this is if I just offset it, then now I'm going to create a wall that uh, messes up, messes with my doors. And I don't really want that there. So I'm going to Command-Z that and Command-Z again to get rid of that. And then I'm just going to select these three, using the selection tool, I'm going to select these three lines holding the Shift button. And now I'm going to use my offset tool, which is right here, and it's only going to work with those three lines. And that's about right. Pop this up so nobody falls off my deck, and that's it. Um, so that was a lot of details that you learned very quickly. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick tutorial. I guess I'll, I'll do two quick more things for you, which is just going to be a staircase, because I'd like to be able to get to my deck from outside. Um, and to do that, I'm just going to draw a line right here. It's going to be temporary. Um, just so I know where that lines up. Draw um, a rectangle coming out here. And maybe I'll make it go this way. Yeah, that's probably a longer, a better idea. Um, find my midpoints. Find my midpoints again. I'm going to have about eight stairs. Hi. All right, so that was a little bit repetitive. I'm just showing all the, the different midpoints. You have to start from the absolute middle of each shape. Um, otherwise, it's not going to show you a midpoint between this and you know the other line until you have it made. Um, then I'm just going to use my push-pull tool, and I'm going to bring these up. Now, again, um, I'm eyeballing these. Oops. I'm eyeballing these, so um, they're not going to be an exact uh, height. Each stair could be different for all I know. If I wanted to, I could type in dimensions as I'm push-pulling, but in this case, I don't feel that it's necessary. All right, now we just got to get in there. That'd be good. Whoops. You're killing me, wall. Got to tap these in. I love how something so simple as tapping that in makes it really feel a little bit 3D. All right, so my deck is done. Absolute last thing I promise, boys and girls, you're going to get to draw on your own in a sec, is the pool. Definitely got to have a nice pool out here. Uh, offset tool again to make a perfectly centered circle instead of using the circle tool and trying to draw another circle. Tap the water down just a little bit. And now you have a pretty detailed house. Now, of course, I need to pull some more windows onto the other sides, but I don't want to take the time to do that. You already know how to make windows. And this is a really long garage, actually, so I'm going to tighten that up a little bit. Get it tightened up, haha. -ha. And there you go. All right, so this should give you a good start on adding a lot of different details to your houses. Uh, by the way, if you want to make an awning for your front door, you do the exact same thing as your uh, balcony, except just a little bit smaller. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to subscribe. Also, feel free to leave appropriate comments. Yes.